What's up guys? Pinoy boy Mikey Bustos here. Yes, it is Valentine's Day and just like these somewhat dying flowers, I hope your love doesn't die. If you're actively... Erwan, please record properly. If you're acting... You make me conscious. If you act... Paper Ball TV! Uy, sorry. I'm actually just looking for my clitoris. It's very important. I find it. I have a fight. Here's a picture of my clitoris. They're my favorite boxing gloves. So if you see them, please bring it back to me. Hello everyone. It's me, Mami Pacquiao. But it's actually pronounced Pacquiao. And I'm here today to help answer all your frequently asked questions or your packs. You know, I'm very happy and proud when people give a pack. I love packing. I was once a young pack boy myself who needed direction. So now, since it is the special season of love, we are here to answer all the packs that you give. Doesn't matter from anyone, from anywhere. But if you really can't be bothered to give a pack, that's okay, that's fine. You can just go pack yourself at home with Google or UGs. So we have gathered all the packs from social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tinder. But we are making sure that all the privates remain private. And we put them all in this pack sheet of paper. Don't worry, I will all send you copies of this pack sheet so that pack sheet kayong lahat. Since it is special day, I have asked all my fellow YouTuber packers to help me answer all the questions that you packers will send to us. And please listen to them. They have more subscribers than you. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, here are your packs. How do you know he or she was the one? You just know. I think it's as simple as that. You just, you just know. You know it in your heart. You'll have that killing feeling. You just know. You'll have, you'll have a feeling in your heart. Don't worry about other people's opinions, uh, especially if it comes to your relationship. Who gives a if you really love the person, that's all that should matter. Because it's just you and her, or him and... If she's the one you know, you will not ask yourself, is she, is, isn't she, is he, isn't he? If he or she's the one, you know. I keep repeating myself, but it's very important. All right, at Hoffer Sinusuat, how can you let go of all the memories that you have made with someone who doesn't love you anymore? Well, if that's the case, I will just accept Now we're not together anymore. Maybe the feelings are gone, but the memories will last forever. It will help you shape your future, shape who I am today. Kaya maraming salamat rin sa mga memories na yun because... Thank you. Next. <laughs> Ganun lang yun. I think the only way to really be able to let go of memories with someone who doesn't love you anymore is to make new ones. So for example, when I travel to places and I've traveled to that place with an ex-boyfriend, right, who I used to love or who used to love me, I try to make new incredible memories there on my own or with other people like my best friends or my family and it just makes it better. So that's how I tend to forget when I have new memories to hold on to. I think a memory is hindi siya made to be erased. So what you can do is, you love yourself more, and then you let yourself learn from all the mistakes from the past, no matter how bad that is. It's always a tough situation, um, and maybe I would have loved to be able to go back in time and tell my previous self, don't worry, you'll get over it, because you always do get over it. You think at that point in time, it's the end of the world, but it isn't. Um, you change during your lifetime so many times. You evolve, you become a different person with the same sets of values, hopefully. Um, and, you know, things change, situations change. So at that point in time, or at this moment in time, if you just recently broke up, it feels like the end of the world. But just so you know that in one month or two months, um, that's gonna change and you'll feel much better. Also, don't get stuck in the past. Move on, move forward, be better, be stronger. That was depressing. That was really depressing. I mean, yeah. Galing naman kay I am Daile. Paano ba magmahal ng hindi nasasaktan? Huwag ka na magmahal kung ayaw mo masaktan. Kasi pag nagmamahal tayo, dapat tanggap natin na masakit talaga. Masaktan ka talaga kapag nagmahal ka. Hindi, it's part of loving, being hurt. So, expect mo na masasaktan ka talaga. 
dapat siguro mahalin mo ang sarili mo para pag nasaktan ka, alam mo kung sino may kasalanan. At madali mong mapapatawad ang sarili mo. How do I get a girlfriend? Should I just wait or just let go for the kill? Okay, so thing is, I've only had one girlfriend ever and I'm still with her. I've been with her for more than six years already. I'm probably not the person for this because, you know, like I said, I'm dope. not a romantic guy. I just based everything in animes and video games. So. <laughs> you know, sometimes it just happens. Um, you never know. <laughs> you never know if you're going to get a relationship or not. You never know if you're going to get a girlfriend. Um, you know, don't go crazy searching, but don't, you know, Don't be afraid either, um, and it'll just happen. It usually just happens, and it, co it usually comes when you don't see it coming. Uh, and also, another thing to top it off is just be a kind person. Be a nice person, be yourself, and eventually you'll find the right one. Siguro para sa akin, should I just wait or go for that? Siguro maglaro ka na lang muna siguro ng Emil kung gusto mo mag-kill kill. Gusto mo triple kill ka pa dun. Ano yung ginagawa para mapansin ka ni Gus? Think about the big cats of the jungle, like the lions and the tigers, and there are plenty of those everywhere. You've even got snakes, Psst, might be thin. They stalk their prey before attacking slowly, but surely, and that's what you need to do, stalk your prey and attack at the right moment. Otherwise, if you wait too long, scavengers like the Filipina bangers might just sweep through you and grab that prey without you even noticing. What advice do you have if someone of a different culture who wants to go date a Filipina? Here's my advice. Culture, at the end of the day, it shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're Swedish, English, Brazilian, Welsh, Moroccan, whatever. At the end of the day, people are people. Love is love. Just spread the love. Um, I believe Filipinas are one of the nicest and, and sweetest person in the world. And let, yes, it is. Stop saying yes, yes. My wife it is and all the Filipinas are. But do not betray them and do not betray their trust because then hell come down to earth. I don't know if I can say hell in this video or not, but if not, just beep it. Do you think that love of the same food is an important trait in a significant other? And to that I say no. It's actually better if they don't like the same food that you do because then they can give you theirs. <laughs> No, but I do think openness in terms of the willingness of trying new food is. Um, I would be in a very hard place if my partner didn't um, or wasn't open to trying new things because then we'd be stuck trying the same thing over and over again. In the case of Anne and I, you know, she loves to eat. I love researching different restaurants or places or ingredients and I love trying them out. Um, do we always agree in what we like? No, but at least we know Um, and we know that we can always try new things. And I think with food, that's really important, especially for me, because I do travel a lot just for food. Love of the same food with my significant other is definitely a, a huge part of our relationship. And one of the biggest ways that I bond with my girlfriend is um, through eating. I mean, that's our favorite thing to do at night after we're done with everything. And it makes up a huge part of you know, our, I guess, bonding time. It also can get difficult in the sense that You know, I'm someone who likes to eat more healthy and she's someone that likes to eat more, uh, I guess things that have more taste in them, so to speak. But you know, everything is about compromising and finding what works out for both. And yeah, that's what relationships are all about. And the same with food, I guess. Galing kay at Chungangers. Ang tanong niya, sasagutin ko na ba siya para sure na may date ako for Valentine's or wag muna para mas maraming gifts from others. Alam mo, uh, sagutin mo na siya kasi the greatest gift that you can receive this Valentine's Day is love. At, oh wait, a joke, wala talagang may gusto sa bira. Bakit ko ba sinagot pa ito? Ito ha, huwag kang magsasagot ng tao or gagawa ng major decision around some event. For Valentine's, I don't think pwede mo or kailangan mong sagutin yung person na yun para lang uh, may ka-date ka this Valentine season. Dahil first and foremost, ang hirap kayo makipagsabay at mag-date. And second of all, medyo nag-agree ako sa'yo na pag single ka, marami kang mga kuwang gifts. 
um, twice the chocolates and the flowers, which I highly enjoy and highly recommend. So, yeah, I would suggest if you're not yet ready for a relationship, wag mo naman siyang paasahin na mamahalin mo na siya ng tunay at sasagutin mo siya porque Valentine's Day lang. Uh, enjoy being single and enjoy the extra amount of chocolates and flowers. Is it okay to travel with your ex? Um, I mean, I did travel with my ex. I went to San Francisco before and we were fine. We were friends. But again, it's up to you to know whether you can travel with your ex or not. I mean, you know yourself if, if that's a good idea or a bad idea. If it's a bad breakup before, will you be together uh, again? Could you be together again? You gotta ask yourself that question. So ask yourself. Uh, because only you know, Dibam. I mean, yeah, if, if you think it's okay to travel with your ex, if you guys are on good terms, then go for it. I mean, me, yeah, I would definitely be able to go travel with my ex now because we never ended on a bad note. We're still good friends, and I think it would be fun. Well, it's okay to travel with anybody, so probably not the best idea, though, if you're dating somebody else, to go on a traveling adventure with your ex unless they're comfortable with it. I don't know, that could be awkward. I don't think I'd go traveling with my ex uh, unless my girlfriend now is like, go do it. And even then, I think it would just be a bit difficult, so. Sabi ni Melvin23 kan last, I'm in love with my best friend. Ano ang gagawin ko? Well, kung ako ang in love sa best friend ko, mas pipiliin ko yung friendship namin. Kasi, realidad lang, pag inamin mo sa kaibigan mo na gusto mo siya, magbabago na yung tingin niya sa'yo, magbabago na lahat. Kaya para sa akin, mas habuti pang forever magkaibigan kami kesa pa magsisi ako na pag sinabi kong mahal ko siya, lalayo siya. Kasi yun ang realidad. Yun ang realidad. Kung ako ikaw, best friend mo naman yun eh. You can tell him or her everything and maintindihan naman niya yun kung ano talaga yung nakakandaman niya sa isa't isa. Kung hindi ka man niya mahal, mapag-uusapan niya yun dahil best friend nga kayo. Any advice for long distance relationships? Oh yes, that's a good one. Skype every day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and cheesecake. It'll fill that void. Trust me. Uh, I'm actually currently in one. I've been in a long distance relationship for almost two or three years. Four years, actually. Three. Yeah, communication is the biggest factor here. Constant communication or regular communication. You don't have to like talk to each other every single day, but that would be awesome. But at least keep your lines open and some other stuff that I can't really say right now. You know what I mean. <laughs> Long distance relationships only works if you have an end goal. Like for example, okay, we're gonna be split for two years because uh, you're gonna be living in Europe for this specific job. But we know that in two years we're gonna be together again. If the long distance is open and you don't know when you're gonna be together, it's hard. It's hard because, you know, it, it's, you know, you try to keep the fire alive, but you know, distance, it, it plays a role. I know because I have three long distance relationships before the love of my life. Solen, Marie, uh, Adea, Hisa, Bolsico. Um, and none of them work, even though we put a lot of effort on it. Rika Garcia, 26. Um, she asks, describe your ideal date. Brad, what's my ideal date? Filipina. What? <laughs> I don't even know that guy. <laughs> my ideal date? Just anything that makes me happy. For me, something that takes me in the outdoors or gets me connected with uh, the beautiful world around me. And sharing that with another person, that's what makes it extra special. Uh, both people are experiencing hopefully something new, something that they like, something that makes them feel slightly uncomfortable, but in all the best positive ways. Um, and that just brings them a new experience, yet also allows them to uh, learn from each other and learn about each other. I think a specific date for me, I love not necessarily, well, depending on which, or which date it is, um, having just a drink at a bar I think is the best because it's casual, it's not as formal as dinner, um, it's a little fun, the alcohol kind of gets you a little loose, so you'd be, you're a bit more upfront um, with your feelings and what you want to say. Um, so yeah, just keep it simple um, and keep it entertaining. Nyanaman sakit na higugma, higugma, which I guess is a Visaya for bakit masakit magmahal. Why is it painful sometimes to have uh, to be in love? Masakit talaga magmahal kung mahal mo talaga isang tao, di ba? Pag nagmamahal ka talaga, hindi mo mawala yung sakit. Kung baga masaktan ka, syempre magkakatampuan kayo. Minsan, di ba? Magpo-pull kayo, di ba? Hindi na mamawawala yan. So, pag magmahal ka talaga, um, expect mo na talaga na masasaktan ka rin kasi hindi all the time 
pag nagmamahal ka eh palagi masaya, syempre ma- malulungkot at oh. masasaktan ka. Ayun na. I guess it's uh, one of those things when you're in love, it's uh it's not easy sometimes because you know you have such strong feelings uh, when you fall in love and you sometimes we always want them feelings to be reciprocated reciprocated um, but yeah it's an strong emotion and that makes us human so enjoy it and that is the reason why love is love is good and sometimes love is blind but love is awesome and it's part of being human at the end of the at the end of the day aw di man sakit may gugma nindot gani kina ang sakit kay mabastid pero kung di gaganan masakitan aw ilulo la lang na with your least dominant hand para mas lami What is more important, being loyal or being faithful? Being faithful. Kasi pag sinabi mong being loyal, pwedeng sa kanya ka today, sa kanya ka bukas, pero sa isang tao ka babalik. Whereas, kung sinabi mo na faithful ka, sa isang tao ka lang talaga. You're really faithful to that specific person. The love of your life. Like, I, I admire a lot of people who are so loyal to something just because they think that um, they're better off doing that thing so whether it's bad or good as long as they think that they'll benefit from it they'll stay loyal to that no matter what happens i would like to say that you have to be both you can't be loyal and not faithful and you can't be faithful and not loyal like i think it goes hand in hand career or love Ho ho ho! Well, I think you're asking the wrong person because for me, career and love are the same thing. Mwah! Married to my career, baby. Career or love, siguro career. Kasi, may nitihan naman siguro yun nung love. What? Hindi ko isa sa akin. Basta yun na yun, Jaco, dami mong tanong. <laughs> mahal mo or mahal ka? Uh, sa tingin ko, mahal ka. Pero ang sigurado ako, mas mahal ako. Hindi mo ako afford. Para sa akin, parehas siguro. Parehas. Parehas kasi, alam mo bakit? Sa bagay, Hindi ko na alam eh. Sa bagay kasi may iba-iba tayong mga ano, eh, oh. pananaw dyan. Sa may iba-iba tayong... Kaya, 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 kaya yung isinasabi ko eh. Yung isinasabi ko eh. Sa iyo eh. She need to ask, is it wrong to love someone who's already in love with someone else? Yeah. Yeah, it's wrong. Uh, tingin ko, feelings yan, so hindi mo dapat ini-invalidate yan. Kung in love ka, in love ka. Magkakamali ka lang depende sa kung anong actions yung itatake mo. That's, that's what I think. <laughs> uh, it's not wrong. I mean, sometimes you can't help your feelings, but it would be wrong to expect something to happen from that. If you're in love with someone else and you try to force that love onto that person, Uh, we're talking about, or if you try to convince them to love you, then that is totally wrong. Like, you shouldn't be the person to interfere in someone else's relationship. If that person loves you back, then that person eventually should break up with the other party that's involved and that we're not mentioning, um, and eventually make that happen. But you, as a person who loves someone else, whether or not they love you, it's not really up to you to force your love onto someone else. Um, it's a shitty, 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 sucky situation, um, but you can't do anything about it. So as long as you don't do anything about it, it's not wrong. You're still in the right. Sometimes you just can't help your feelings. Hope that helps. Is it better to find love rather than waiting for it to come naturally? The answer is no. Do not go and look for love. Love will come when it has to come. So enjoy with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, and eventually you will be there and that, you know, special person will appear and change your life. But if you are actively looking for it, why you are looking at my hand? If you are actively, act, act, uh, everyone, please record properly. If you act, you make me conscious. If you act, if you are actually looking for love, it is not gonna happen. Just let it go, free, enjoy your life. It will come. And as I said in one of my posts, if not, you can borrow Pochola for a bit. She's so huggable. Let it come naturally. Don't. I, I don't, personally, I don't think you should ever f- search and find for love. Because if you are, you're needy. You're, 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 you're impatient. You should probably find more about yourself rather than trying to find love. I think that's just me. I would never go looking for. I would never look for it. Uh, I never have looked for it. If you want to look for it, just go on Tinder or Bumble. Hit some people up. Yeah, let it come naturally because it's better that way. Well, mate, you can't exactly make people come unless they're ready. No. You just end up with having people faking it with you all the time. 
What you've got to do is you've got to caress that love. You've got to stroke that love, talk to it. Maybe even tickle it a little bit here and then. So that in the end, that love will grow strong and hard and long it will last in years, maybe even hours or minutes would do definitely. So that like that perennial Beatles song, you both come together right now over me. Ding, 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 ding. That's a tough one. Um, when there's a girl that I really liked in the past, I, it, it always just made me scared to go out and talk to them. But you know, you have really nothing to lose and that's something you gotta remember that the worst thing that can happen is, is you know, you get a no. Um, I think fear of rejection is a lot of people's um, biggest fears. But something that I have with my current girlfriend now, um, you know, the good relationship that we have, it's because I went out and I remember the text I sent to her and I was so scared and I thought about it for minutes and hours and I just did it. And she replied to me and then from there we started, you know, sending messages to each other, hanging out and, and now we're together and um, yeah, she's the coolest person I think I've ever met in my life and I'm so happy that I made that decision. So don't go out and look for it too hard, but be confident and don't be afraid to say hi, send a message. Di lang ito tao si Charity, donation to para sa Charity. Thank you. Do you love me? Are you riding? Do you uh the thing? Hello! Hello everyone! Thank you so much for watching our packing episode. We hope you like it and learn a lot of things from giving a pack. Because we give a pack, you now give a pack. And we all give a pack. Pack this shit! So if you have any more packs to give, please do write it in comment section or like our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also, don't forget to click subscribe. And for all you future packers out there, please pack responsibly and pack this shit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope your love doesn't die like these flowers. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Happy Valentine's. Yon, so that's my questions answered. I love you, Jacko, and I love all of you out there. I don't know what this is for, but I'm just answering it anyway. I'm in Vietnam, by the way. So, yeah, that's Nico Bolsico, president of the Bully Husband Club, here for you. The vice president and also founder is recording this video, so remember, guys, you never walk alone. And to all the... I'm oh, sorry, I, I thought you were finish. done. I didn't finish. You never walk alone. And to all the wives, whatever you guys said is right.